So I see some of you that asking me how to do custom colors in Talvin version 4. So anyway, with Talvin version 4, it's more easy to do custom color or custom font or whatever. It's more easy way to do that. So let me just try to copy this project first. This is basically come from the previous video, which is this video right here. I just want to clone that repo. So we, we are going to learn how to upgrade the version, how to do custom style and etc. So let's try to copy that on the terminal. I'm going to do git clone and then paste that link and hit enter. Uh, I, I'm doing something wrong here. Git clone space and hit enter. Here we go. So now let's try to CD to that custom Talon colors CD. And then now we can open that inside Visual Studio Code. So on the terminal, let's try to install the package. So if you see on the package.json file, this one right here, Basically, we have the Talvin CSS version 3.4, right? So let's try to run it. npm run dev. It will open localhost 3000 or oh, not 3000 because this is a feed, right? So it will open the localhost 5173 and it will look it will look like this. So now let's try to see how we can custom the colors because on the previous video, which is on the version 3.4. We're doing that on the Talwin um, config, I believe. Yeah, right here, right? So now let's try to do that with Talwin version 4. Let's go to upgrade guide in here. This is basically how you can upgrade your project from the version 3 to version 4. But as you can see here, Talwin CSS version 4 is designed for Safari version 16.4 plus Chrome 111 plus and firefox 128 plus so if you need to support older browsers stick with version 3.4 right so if you want your application still need support older browser still using 3.4 okay so sometimes you don't have to upgrade because you have to support older browser all right, to do that, it's pretty simple. We are going to use these upgrade tools, which is the automatic way to do that. Or you can do like uh, the manual things right here. You can follow along, but I'm going to use this one right here, right? The automat uh, tools. So just copy that. And then I'm going to just run it right here. Uh, npx at Talon CSS slash upgrade. Hit enter. I'm going to say yes right here and hit enter. Let's see what happened. All right, now as you can see, the Talon config.js is automatically removed. It's not longer available. And let me see, the Talon CSS now is 4.1. And then there is some um, package that remove automatically, which is the auto prefixer. And then let's take a look what the new is just this one, Talon CSS post CSS. And also the, yeah, just that's it. Let's take a look what else uh, right here. I think it's, it's done. And also there's an update on the index.css file. If I open it, as you can see, um, that command is basically create this theme automatically and we have this custom color by default and we, we're done basically. Uh, so let's try to do npm run dev and hopefully it's running. Let's open that on the browser and as you can see, it still works by the way. If I open um, the, let me go to page.tsx, uh, app.tsx, color demo. And as you can see, I'm using the brand color here and it's still available because we're putting that right here. So this is basically the way we put the custom colors, right? Just put that inside the add theme keyword and we're done. Let me go back to the uh, right here, adding custom style. Just make sure you open that in the version four right here. And as you can see, the way we customize is pretty simple. We need to just create add theme keyword, put the font, font family, whatever you want, the breakpoint or whatever you want, and the color, right? And done. So basically you can just put the color like this and it just works, right? And also uh, I found the website that will generate that. I think this one right here. And here you can just select 
any color you like right and then after that you can go to uh, i believe export right here and here we go um tell in version 4 right this is free you can just copy that we can paste that on the theme right here just paste like that and then now we can just use that so let's go to color demo and then uh, for example the brand right here i just want to select all that brand colors and then change that to let me just select any brand right here i don't care about the text let's paste it right now we're using malacite or whatever <laughs> so let's try to see uh, this is the result right and it works and of course you still can use this um, talent css color palette generator from the tail color um, what you need to do is basically just change the format the way you render the color for example you want to use this color copy that and then go back to your index right here paste that and you have to create manually you can do like that that that's this color and then whatever the name you want new um let's say 5t and put that color right you have to put with without the string basically just put like this and put semicolon and you do the another thing which is 100 you get you get the idea right just put the color and then paste that like so remove this one so now let's try to use that color which is this new one so let's try to i think on this hello world right here i'm gonna put text new uh, 100 right this one so i already applied it let's take a look here we go right now the, the color is applied on that hello world text all right so i think that's it guys for this video hope this is helpful and see you on the next one